I know, trying to do math fast sounds like a boring video, but watch this. Wow, wasn't that cool? So there's this game where you try to solve as many math problems as you can in two minutes. Now they're just arithmetic equations within a specific range, so I'm not going to be turning into Isaac Newton, but I'm hoping my brain grows at least twice as buff. So I'm going to test myself right now, see what I get, practice for seven days and see if I can become a genius. I'm expecting around 30 for this first attempt, but uh, I really have no idea because I've never tried this before. That seems reasonable. Four seconds per thing. I'm pretty sure I suck at division. We'll see. Oh my, we're starting with this. 198 divided by six. Six times 30 is 180. So 33. Also subtraction is hard. Oh my God. Seven times 50 is 350 plus 56, 58, six, three. Thirty-four. That's not that bad. All right, so I think a good goal is to try and double that by next week. I'm not sure if that's ridiculous, but I'm gonna aim for it. Bonus points if I get sixty-nine. I started researching for any tips or tricks I could use, and the first useful one I found was dividing by five. All you gotta do is move the decimal across and double it. So 43.5 times two is 87. And that's the answer. The next day I did 12 more runs and it could have gone better. 21. Okay, so I got in um, 13 points worse than last time. That's, that's good. 35. That, uh, that's a PB. I'll take a personal best. So 35 was the best I could get. On day three, I upped it to 37 and then decided to look for some division tactics. For dividing by nine, you can look at how many times it goes into the first two digits. So here it's six because nine times six is 54. And the last digit is just 10 minus the last digit. Now dividing by 11 turned out to be one of the most brain dead things you can do. Just get rid of the middle number and that's your answer. Except when the first digit's higher than the second, you lower it by one. So I should be good as long as I can employ these techniques and stick to practicing. Two. Then it was time for some focus training. I managed to get a 51 with only dividing by nine and an 80 with 11 and a 46 with nine to 11 all combined. On day five, I did nine to 11 some more and got up to 70 before seeing what I could do with the other division sets. Seven and 12 were pretty bad, but the only trick I could find was that the last digit for 12 is always half of the last digit or that plus five. Why is there like a praying mantis on my curtain? Hello, bruv. In it. On day six, I redid every division trial and it ranged from 26 on eight to 90 on 11. So not bad overall, but doing these in isolation is easier than not. So I tried full randomized division. Then I did the same for all the other three operations. Dividing and multiplying turned out very similar. So on day seven, I really honed in on multiplication and uh, I couldn't beat a 45, but I found out how to multiply by 11 more easily. And then I did a whole bunch of attempts on the full game and I made some pretty hefty leaps over day one. If you're wondering why I'm on day eight of a one week challenge, well, let's say you start 3 p.m. Sunday and then go till the next Sunday at 3 p.m. That's one week and yet it's the eighth day. Anyway, I did like 30 attempts and managed to get this. Hey, that's not that bad, you know? I mean, it was kind of lucky. I got a lot of easy ones in a row, but I'll take it. I tried to beat it, I, I really did, because I wanted to break 60, but that was all I could muster up. So I didn't exactly double my score, or indeed the size of my brain, but 34 to 59, that's a solid improvement. Well, like with most things, uh, the way to get good is pretty much just practice. I learned a couple of little tricks, but mostly you just need to get good. So that's the lesson. See you later.